All righty, boo. It's Thursday, and what date is that? Oh, it's six. I just drove up, I took off work, um, and guess what came today? <laughs> it's just, it's amazing how you can get older or old and how something so simple and so inexpensive can make you so freaking excited and I blame it on everybody else. I will never be able to tell my wife everybody's name because she'll come kill you all. But anyway, look what came. These were so hard to get. Um, every time I went online to find one of these things, I was either going to get the, the Remington um, which is what Jim down here at Universal has, and that's what he told me to shot, shoot on. And boy, the first time I clanked that steel at 600 and whatever, 25 yards, only you guys can understand. But one thing that you can't understand, because when you've been shooting a while, is the absolute excitement of doing something like that. Because I have never shot a deer over 200 yards. I never thought I'd like something like this. I can't wait not only to shoot this down at the range. I'm going to take it down tomorrow. I'll record some of that with Jim teaching me what to do because obviously I want to learn how to do it right. And um, and then I want to take it hunting up at the farm. Um, and, and, and again, I, you know, I'm not an unethical hunter, so I'm going to have to judge what is my distance. I, I've never had to take, actually, we're not in the wild west out there. So even though it's a couple hundred acre farm, the way we've set it up over 10 years is you really you're not going to have a shot over 200 yards probably uh, but we can clear some areas out and we theoretically could make it from one mile uh, one mile from the end to the other so it, I don't know what I'm going to do I just I'm, I'm still thrilled with my with my my pistol shooting uh, but this this is a cool but anyway enough of me okay this is it this is my I want to call it a holo in my Howell sporting rifle. And this one I bought because I'm not the most intelligent guy. But, let's see what it came with. This is my unpacking. It came with, oh, I need my glasses, sorry. It came with, let me get this thing to come down. You sure don't want to look at me. Hey, can you see it there? Yeah. Okay, it came with, Weatherby Vanguard, oh, okay. Mossberg, Smith & Wesson. Detachable Magazine Conversion Kit. Oh, that's a friggin' magazine, I'm sorry. Jeez Louise. Whatever, okay, we'll figure it out, Alan. This is, oh, this is what the, the scope came in. What's it got? Isn't this cool? Oh, it's got little things I don't even know what they are. I might have to pay one of you guys to fly down here and show me what's going on. It's got, oh, it's got, it's, I, I know it doesn't have probably a great scope, but again, for what I'm doing, it may be perfect. Um, it's called a Nico Sterling. Um, I have to learn about that Parallax thing. You know, I've been reading about it. It's kind of funny. I don't know if you've ever read something or looked at something that kind of had your brain have a hard time getting it. I mean, you know what it does, but you don't know how it gets there or why it gets there. But it kind of seems to me like it's something like what you're trying to do is get that thing set so that you've got your 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 target. Does it make sense parallel with the the mirror or whatever is on the inside so that when you're so like if you were looking at it like so and you were looking through here and you can move your head from high to side to side, you can move the dot. In, th in theory, you kind of want it to be almost where they would be together so that however you move your head, that that dot always stays in the center. Something I would never have thought about. And if I just described it wrong, then that's... Oh, I know, it's... Um... I don't know whose fault it is. But, um, anyway, 
It would probably have to be Brit's fault. Yeah. So I got this little... Buffalo River bipod. I'm sure it's not very good. But what's the big deal? I, I, I don't know what I'm using it for. I'm not going to be... I don't know what I'm going to be doing. But that's, that's that. Dude, I just think it's pretty cool for a ding-dong like me to sell a kit for $1,100. Isn't that amazing in this day and age? I don't know. Maybe, maybe to you guys that's not a big deal. But, but to buy something that's of a, of a semi-quality grade for $1,100 with the smoke in it, Here's the instructions. We don't use instructions. Let's see if I can get this thing out of here. What's it, what I think is cool about this thing also is it's got a the aluminum chassis thingy dingy. And it's, it's, it's all been um I don't know if they're good, I don't care. It's got something on it. But they did it in a gray flag camel. I didn't like the red flag camel. And if you've got it, of course, that's great. But I'm just saying. Um, but look at this freaking thing. <laughs> Can you see it? Oh, 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 it's got little numbers back here. It's got numbers over here. Cardboard on it. It's got numbers and it's got four numbers. I know this is the parallax. Yeah, baby. One's up and down, and one's left and right. Oh, let me just hold it for a second. Oh, yeah, we need a little adjustment. Oh, so freaking cool. I'm so excited. I know to you guys this is just an entry level whatever. But I did get it in the 6.5 Creedmoor, and when I picked it up on the way, uh, I left work early and I picked it up. I'm always got a muzzle brake. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Maybe someday I'll get a suppressor. I, I don't know. Um, I, I, I don't know. You know, all things, I think what you do is you start with the basics. That's me. You just start with the basics and you just see how far you want to go. But, dang guys, again, I just keep looking back at that dollar value. Well, look how big it is. I've never had a scope with a thingy dingy to dig. I did buy a scope one time with with a parallax on it and I didn't know what it is so I just started cranking around. No wonder I never got that scope. But, uh, you know, I have the things that I grew up being good with and this is something I, I didn't even know this exists. It's called a... I can't read where the crap. It's called a Hawa Model 1500 uh, made in Japan imported by Legion Sports in Reno, Nevada. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. I hope you guys are happy for me. I'm, I mean, I'm happy. And I'm happy that I can get started in this for, for such a reasonable price and everything. And I know I, like I say, it's, it's nothing to get, jump up and down about. But it is for me. But anyway, thank you guys for helping me get involved in this. My, my wife's really happy too, probably. She doesn't know. Um, but I'm gonna go out with Jim tomorrow over Universal because uh, they got a, a USPSA shoot Sunday, so I'm gonna shoot that on Sunday. <laughs> I'm ready to. I'm a lot more. I'm a lot more excited about this thing. So, you guys, I just wanted to share it with you. You may not even want to watch this, but I'm a 67 year old freaking kid, and I can't help it. So anyway, thank you. God bless you. And I'm gonna turn this thing off. I've got a pizza coming. In the, in the uh, Lake Wales Hilton, as you can see. <laughs> but, uh, you know, sometimes you don't have to have the best to be really, really happy. And, uh, but I'm really happy. So I'm going to eat a pizza. And then I'm going to have a beer. And then I'm going to just look at this thing. Probably read the instruction book. And, and thank you guys for being so nice to me. And, and, 
whatever. Maybe someday I can drive to North Carolina, maybe, if you let me. And you can just go play or something. Because I like, I like to do that. So Anyway, thanks again. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to ramble. Uh, when I get excited, I can't break the show. Why it's always telling me to show. So thank you. you. Guys, have a good one, and I'll, I'll see you. Bye.